guys so this is kind of what we've been dealing with for weather here recently it's rain and snow and just icky but I haven't made a video in a while um, I was sick for like a week so I'm just been taking my time getting back into making videos but I'm gonna try and put one out now. All right, so <clears throat> I don't have too much I can video record right now. Um, I did order a new part for the Mustang. Um, that's all I have to really videotape about the Mustang right now. It's uh. I took it to a Cars and Coffee over the weekend after I started feeling a little bit better. Got some uh, people that were looking at it, thought it was cool, you know. Um, I probably could have videotaped that, but I just decided to kind of enjoy myself while I was there. Um, Dad's been working on the 72. Redid the uh, bed liner and cleared it and looks pretty awesome he did that a long time ago and it was just time to do a little update to it did all the rails too we did a couple test hits on the Mustang in the street when it was nice that was right after I was feeling better too we had a nice day so went ahead and did a little test hit just to kind of see how this thing would react with how this thing would react with the new upper control arms and the 28 inch slicks and it did pretty good we had the slicks at 12 pounds of air and uh, we think if we want it to hook just a little bit better uh, we would leave on less air on the street that road is very, very crappy road. I mean, it's just co completely covered in pebbles. And in, for the longest time since I've built the turbo kit, we've been leaving at 3,000 RPM and zero pounds of boost. Not build any boost on the leave. I do my best to try and launch with the clutch, but it's, it's kind of difficult. This clutch in this car is literally right off the floor. So slipping, there, there's not a lot of slipping to be had, so. That might be something that we can adjust, but for right now, it works. I thought it left pretty good, pulling the front end up pretty good there on a really crappy road. <clears throat> of course, we're leaving on no boost. But the gearing in this car is extremely short too, which it doesn't help our case at all. If it had a little bit longer gearing, it would help the turbo out. and But it would be harder on the transmission. So, I mean, it's kind of a give or take. Got to do what we can do. But... I want to show you guys the new part I got for the Mustang. You can hear I'm still kind of sniffling a little bit. But here we got Boost Control Solenoid. It came with all these fittings here. There we go. 
Came with all these fittings here and a filter. Came with uh, already put on plug here and a harness for that plug with, if you look here, it already has a pin right here to pin right into your holly. So, pretty nice. Hooks into my holly. I can use this to regulate boost. My main concern is how I'm going to do that because one way is just regulating uh, boost pressure to the bottom of the gate. If I had a better spring in there, I think I could regulate up to that spring pressure. I'm not really sure. I got to do some more reading on it, but but another way, another boost control method we can do is run a line straight from the turbo discharge, the compressor discharge to the bottom of the gate, which would on this spring, I think we ch it, it only makes like 2 pounds, I think. And it's a 3 pound spring. So one and a half pounds. I don't really remember. We haven't ran it like that in a while. Right now it's just, like I said in the last video, the line is completely disconnected and that makes 8 pounds of boost, between 8 and 10 pounds of boost. If you ran a line straight from a compressor discharge to the bottom of the gate, uh, with no pressure added to the top of the gate, you would make whatever it made, like a pound and a half or two pounds of boost. Uh, but if I ran another line from a compressor discharge to this new boost control solenoid and then to the top of the gate, I could add boost pressure to the top of the gate to make even more boost. But it's going to be kind of hard to control because you're going off boost pressure. So another method I could do is take a line from the compressor discharge to the bottom of the gate and then take another line from a CO2 bottle with CO2 in it through the solenoid to the top of the gate and regulate boost pressure that way with an, an external pressure source. That would be uh, the easiest method of regulating boost, but a more expensive method. So it's kind of like give or take on that as well. We'll figure out what we're gonna do, but for right now, this is just kind of an update for you guys and uh, you can kind of see what's going on with that. So far, um, the control arms I installed are working. The uh, extra catch can isn't, I haven't seen any fluid in there, but I mean, I would like to think that the engine's breathing better. Fuel pump is working. Obviously, after launching it, we got to kind of test that. And I don't know if the boost the boost reference reg fuel regulator is working or not it should be it seems like it pulls pretty damn hard so I mean I don't think it made too much of a difference so far until we get it tuned better but that's that's another thing in the works is we need to I'm just you know trying to get this thing ready to go on the dyno and get it tuned for more boost but I'm trying to get things ready for more boost i.e. getting a boost controller and making sure there's plenty of crankcase ventilation, making sure everything's uh, in correct order with the driveline angle, just everything, making sure everything is in tip-top shape before I take it on the dyno. It's never been on the dyno with the turbo. It was when it was NA, but... Uh, it's just going to be a whole different animal, and I don't want to risk blowing the motor like we have in the past. Uh, I just can't afford to blow this motor. I can't afford to lose the turbo. I can't afford to lose anything. This is uh, 
I put what I can into this car and to make content for you guys on the channel so it's I'm doing what I can but we can't afford to to lose anything or you know so <clears throat> um, ooh, another update I bought some tools for work I've been buying tools from snap-on guy for work and uh, I won this. Uh, they did a recent. Uh, if you buy an uh, air hammer, snap on air hammer, you get entered it in to win a Traxxas uh, RC car. And so I won the Travis Pastrana snap on RC car. Things been pretty fun so far. Um, I don't normally win stuff, so this this was a nice refresher for me. You know. But I've been playing with that for the last few days. It's been pretty fun. But this is all I really got for you guys this week. I got, you'll get to see the video of me doing the test, test launch. And you'll get to see this little update video. And that's what I got for now until, <clears throat> uh, until I can figure out what else I can show you guys with you know what I've got going on and the weather and everything that's going on so I appreciate everybody that's been helping out with the channel it's been growing like crazy I'll add some uh, pictures of how much we've grown so far we've put seven videos in March we've grown tremendously we've grown over a thousand views on the channel in one month that is insane I've never ever 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 had that happen ever a thousand more than normal normally we get about 200 views uh, in a month and here recently we've hit 1.2 thousand views this month uh, the month of March insane I appreciate it so much guys seriously and we've gotten 47 likes this month five shares and six total comments so I appreciate all the love guys seriously I can't ask for anything better I appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching, guys. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and I'll keep putting out content. Thank you.